G'day folks. Well, I was just tidying up the spare room at the moment and I figured I'd just run the model number on this TIAC uh, HD plasma television. Uh, I think this one Brad gave me. I think I got all my plasmas off Brad. Um, I set it aside because the power supply was dead. It started bolting intermittently. Well, he got it off a friend for nothing. Gave, sold it to a friend after a clean up and it worked fine for about 12 months because he said it was overheating or something had a lot of dust in the heat sink uh, and it started faulting again and eventually died about 12 months later so I figured I'd just run the, the model number it's a TIAC PLMHD high definition M1066 multimedia display monitor uh, so I ran the uh, model number and no power in Google and immediately came up with some search results one of which pointed to this the so-called 12 o'clock power supply which is like 12 o'clock looking at it from a uh, clockwise perspective right at the top up here as far as I can tell it's the only part of it that's not made in Japan all this is made in Japan this is a Japanese power supply uh, doesn't say who it's made by but or no Murata um, all these control boards are Japanese the panel itself is made by Fujitsu Japan uh, they're very well made set apparently except for this power supply now the fix was immediately described on the uh, internet there and you can see that connector's brown and discoloured it's gone black and someone's already done that fix which is described on the net as take the wires and hardwire them or at least the first one uh, I just noticed a dry joint through here and here these older pins haven't been resoldered so they're dry jointed, that won't help. There's also a high wattage resistor up there which looks a bit sad. I'm going to re-solder this power supply. I'll probably delete this connector completely and salt hardwire the connector to the board like it says in the uh, man or the article online. And we'll just see how that goes. It is an intermittent problem, especially on hot days it was dying. I can't get it to power up at all now. The other issue is it could be caps because this is a Taiwanese power supply. Got a 16 volt 2700 mic cap, the big one. It's a 1200 microfarad 16 volt is the second largest. Yeah, they're just normal DC filter caps. This is this feeds the control and everything. Hence why I was, wasn't turning on and probably turning off intermittently. Control was losing voltage and bang, down it goes. The caps on here are reasonable quality Japanese ones. There's nothing obviously cooked or burnt. So I'm guessing it's not the panel drive power, which is what this supply does. It'll be this one here. The control power supply. Yeah, funny thing is this power supply is made by a company called Skynet. Weren't they the source of pain in the Terminator movies? Well, they're the source of pain now. I'm pretty sure this is the power supply that's causing the problem. Um, they repaired the red wire, which is obviously very burnt but they didn't repair its negative ground and that was or its negative rail and I think that's where the problem was because those pins were barely hanging in there they were still contacting to a degree but the power supply in here or the digital boards probably pulling so many amps or it couldn't pull any amps and it just failed so I'm going to hardwire this and if anyone tries this at home and loses cut, cut, or loses track of which colour is which or which goes where it goes as follows. The first pin which normally burns is red. Then you've got orange, yellow, green and two blacks. The two blacks are connected commonly on the negative rail. So it doesn't matter if they go around the other way. But hopefully that helps somebody. Now to clip these off, strip them, solder them through and I'll just do a bit more re-soldering in here. Anything looks dodgy and we'll power it up. See what happens. Alright. In theory I should get something out of this even with nothing plugged in the back in the way of signal anyway um, if not then I'm probably going on a capacitor hunt I'll just write down whatever's in that power supply and uh, put her on order from RS components Let's plug this whole girl in power's up still not getting anything on the bottom though that's in. No. I heard a relay click. No.
Uh, I might have to rebuild that power supply with the caps. That's still stone cold dead. Oh, let's have another fiddle around with it first. Alright, well, I think I made a bit of a mess of it, but I'm getting somewhere. First of all, I wanted to see what the other end of this burnt wire was like. Hang on. I wanted to see what the other end of this was like, and it's not burnt, despite the tiny little pin handling all that current. Um, the other one is obviously just a very loose, dodgy old connection, like a little shitty plug. So that's alright. The caps on the board it goes into is the, uh, it's actually the control board. They all look alright. Um, no way of telling without actually taking them off and measuring them. Um, oh yeah, it's got a DVI port on it too. I can't wait to play World of Warcraft on this thing when I get it going. It'd look really good. But uh, I found something interesting. I was getting, with the power on, I was getting 12 volts across the pin which is supposed to give 240 volts to this power supply. And the main line fuse is open. So voltage is floating through somewhere, but yeah, apparently this thing is working intermittently and I just tried using the continuity on the main fuse like this and there's nothing. Which is open. Even if I take it out of its socket. A bit hard to do this one handed. But there's nothing across that fuse. So, either it's had a spike and it's just popped randomly, or yeah, something maybe something might have gone critical in the power supply and taken the fuse. So all I can do is replace it with one of the same rating and see what happens. It came from uptown in near Melbourne, so who knows what the power supply is like out there. Um, other than that, I don't know. It was starting and stopping intermittently, which is probably the bad ground on here. That would definitely explain that problem. Um, quite positive it would explain that problem, because that ground was not good. And, uh, yeah, the sudden failure is probably the fuse. So let's replace that fuse and see what happens. Alright, let's try this again. I don't have a uh, 3 amp fuse in stock, so I'm using a normal glass 2.5 amp. So we'll soon see if it takes it or not. In theory, it should do something before it takes it. If there's a problem, that is. They usually overrate the fuse a tiny bit, so let's plug it in and see what happens. I think we've got a standby light. That's a start. Good start. Ooh, that took the fuse pretty quick. It's a nice flash too. Yeah, fuse is arced out and cracked. There's only a glass fuse, but yeah, something's definitely short in that power supply. Oh, well, this one can go in the rainy day project. That's enough excitement for one night. Okay, well I'll put the TV aside for now and just got the board out of it. Um, this is, I tried again with the larger fuse, a three, 3 amp fuse, I did find one and it hasn't done anything now, so I'm guessing the power supply has finally gone open. Uh, funny thing is there's that mysterious, I suppose you call it magic smoke smell, like burning semiconductor coming from around here. I'm guessing it could either be the rectifier, one of these regulators, seems to be a bit around these diodes too, but nothing's obviously burnt. Weird, I'm just going to have to start desoldering parts one day and uh, testing them. It's something definitely fried. There's a defin definite short across the primary, or there was. Now it's gone open, so it makes it a bit harder to find. But, yeah, not as easy as, as I thought, but somebody might have an idea on what's wrong with it. As you can tell, I'm way behind on my electronics. I never really got around to much switch mode stuff, I just followed instruction sheets that came with warranty repairs. They'd send you a kit like Samsung or someone would send you a kit to fix a VCR and they'd tell you which parts to replace and that was it. That's the problem with training these days, you either throw the whole board away or they give you a kit and tell you what to replace and that's it. They don't tell you why, they don't tell you where to look. But yeah, it's a M-U-R-A-T-A, -A, Murata, MPF. 7410 power supply. So thanks for any help.